everyone, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we are going to show you how to use KineMaster Video Editor for your smartphone. Now, I am doing this on a Samsung Galaxy S8. So, here is what we do. Over here, you will see your window where it says New Project, Export, and the Store. Now, KineMaster by itself is free to use, but it always has a watermark in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to press new project and we're going to select our aspect ratio and usually by default 16 by 9, 9 by 16, which is your uh, vertical view on your smartphone and the 1 to 1 ratio, which is for smaller file sizes. So we're going to select 16 by 9 because that is the standard for YouTube. Now, as you can see, this is your default view of the application. And over here is the right side controls. Now, the center button here where it's red is the record button where you can record or take pictures. Up top, it says media. On the right, it says audio. On the bottom, it says voice. And on the left are your layer tools. So those are the four tools that you will normally use with this application. And then on the top right, that is the export button. And then on the bottom right here is your play button to play back the project. And then on the bottom left here is the store. So we're just going to start by importing some media. So we're going to import some media by going into the media browser. And then this is all the stuff that we have saved here. So we're going to select DCIM for starters. And then we are going to do, 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 do. We're just going to select a few things here. We're going to select a picture. So we put in two pictures. Let's just do three pictures right now. And then when you're done putting in your media, we'll press the check mark and there is your added media. And it already automatically adds transitions to the project. So we've already added everything here. Now you can remove the, the watermark. You press on the trash can and it gives you the option to upgrade to the premium edition. So it will give you the option to pay for a monthly charge of $5.31, or you can do an annual subscription of $42.49. But me, since I am cheap, I will not do that. So we will go, no thanks. And this is just an editor that I use on the fly for most projects. So what we're going to do next, and yes, I do say so a lot, so there. If you want to write a comment about that, please feel free to do that, but I will not read it. Anyways. We are going to go and look at the media here. So the media that we have here is our picture. And then to edit it, we're going to press on the picture and it turns yellow. And it gives you options onto the right here where it'll say clip graphics, color filter, color alignment, vignette, and so on. These are all the standard features that come with KineMaster Free. And the, the clip button here, it will tell you to trim and split. And then it says trim to left of playhead, trim to right, split and insert freeze. So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up to a certain point and then trim to the right of playhead. So we've trimmed that footage out. And then what we're going to do is we are going to press the other picture here and it automatically goes back. And then we are going to do another setting for it. And I will not go over all the details here, but this is something that you can play around with. So we're going to use color filter and we're going to filter our scenes. Now these are what come with your editor right away. So a lot of presets here, surprisingly enough. And then that's good. So we're going to press the check mark and then you can edit it however you like and then you can rotate it however you like. So you can mirror each of it. You can mirror it to the right or the left. You can mirror it up and down. So that's up and that's down and then you can rotate it however you like as well. So this is really great if you want to fix any issues when it comes to recording with a smartphone. And press the check mark when you're done. And then with the layers tool, we'll put in an effect overlay. And the basic effects that you have here are the Gaussian blur and the mosaic effect. So we're just gonna add that for starters. And then we're gonna play around with the settings, the blur strength like this and so forth. You can play around with a lot of these things, but just the basic inputs and the basic importing of files here. So what we've just done is we've imported a file, added effects, learned how to trim and split, and 
and the like. So I know I went a little bit fast on this, but we're going to go a little bit slower here. So we're going to choose this footage right here. And then we're going to go into what's called a vignette. It automatically adds a vignette to your file. And then for color adjustment, it allows you to adjust all the aspects. So brightness, contrast, and saturation. So you can play around with these sliders. And then when you're done, you can just press the check mark. And then it goes back to the default view. And then you can add audio to the mix. So whatever songs that you have here, music assets, recorded, songs, whatever you like. So you can go here and go to assets, music assets, songs, and you can go through albums and artists. It's pretty straightforward and very thorough. And then what you can do is you can press playback to play your project that you have. And you can see these little breaks in the timeline where it transitions and you can just play around with it. And then if you're done, you can press on the import button and you can save a copy. So that's the save copy. So then you can automatically go back to the latest project you worked on and then you go here and you press edit. And then when you are done everything, there is an option where you can go and press share. So once you're done your project, you can select the resolution and it calculates the bit rate of the file that you've used. And then you can also calculate the frame rate. And then you can adjust the size and quality of your file. And then you press, press export and it exports a copy onto your computer or YouTube. So we're just going to go back. And that is generally how you navigate through KineMaster. And we're just going to, let's say, select a video here. So we're just going to enter a video in and there's our video right here. So this is a vlog that I did just recently, and we are just going to do some cuts. So we are just going to use this as an example. So we clicked on it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go speed control, and we're going to put it on eight times speed. So as you can see here, the vlog is playing at eight times the speed, and it shortens it by a lot. And then you can mute the audio. So we're going to preview the speed control file. So as you can see, it's playing at eight times the speed with the Gaussian blur effect added, and then the blur effect is gone, and then you can see the video sped up. Now, this is not the normal speed of the video. So we've already done that, and then we can adjust it back to one times speed. So the clip, the video project total is about four minutes and nine seconds, and then you can keep the pitch of it by just pressing this. And then you can mute the audio, you can unmute the audio and keep the pitch, which we don't need to do. And then we're just going to play it at four times speed. So we're going to mute the audio and then press the check mark. Then we're going to play it at four times speed like that. So we're going to press it again and then there will be, there's your usual adjustments, your vignette, your audio filter and everything else. And then you can change the voice into a robot. So we're just going to hear how that sounds. So we've muted this audio, so that's why you don't hear anything. So we're going to go speed control, unmute audio, and then we're just going to play it back. So we sped it up four times and we put a robot voice on it. So it's pretty cool how you can play around with these effects. And if you're just a simple editor and you want to do cut and simple jump cuts, this is perfect for you if you use your smartphone. So there we go. I've just covered the basics of how to use KineMaster. And if you have any other questions, please leave me a comment below. I would be more than happy to answer them for you. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Cut.